Not a Set Shelly was founded in uh, 2000 when we first planted our vineyards. My family brought this uh, property in 1994 and uh, it was a big bet to plant vineyards here because it's a very isolated area. It hadn't been done before and it's a very different altitude to the rest of the area that surrounds us. The name is connected to the altitude in a way because Nuta Setticelli means a state of the seven skies and we chose this name because uh, the property is on top of a hill and uh, the views are incredible. At the essence of this project is uh, the location and the terroir that we have here. It was a big challenge to start with and now we're trying to get the most out of it, get the purest expression of the terroir. We've been working now with uh, Elena, our CEO and winemaker, who is uh, extracting the best out of this terroir. Here we have something special, you know, when I started this project and a brother called me and I saw the place here, I, I just fall in love for this project because uh, what you have here is something that is almost rare to find you know we have everything here you have a altitude you have an amazing soil you have uh, great varieties we work with Malbec, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc and uh, the presence of the sea uh, makes an uh, old year windy and at night it's really cold here so it's amazing for the ripeness you know it's the best thing that uh, Every winemaker can dream to make a, a wine. What I'm trying to do, like to work very hard in the vineyard, don't ruin what uh, nature can give us, and uh, we are organic for this reason because we are very uh, focused to respect uh, the nature and uh, all the processes do it by hand. And we select each different uh, terraces. We have terraces, uh, and we divided everything because uh, tasting the berries, you can feel how it can be different amazing and uh, I would like to share with uh, everybody because it's really something unique. Yantra is our entry-level wine. The name comes from the Indian mandalas that are called yantras. They're geometrical forms. The wine Yantra is made with uh, Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. And uh, in this wine, we are more focused on the freshness and the fruitness of uh, these two varieties. So the wine is fermented and aged in stainless steel tank. And uh, 2011 has been a very nice uh, vintage, so good ripeness. And uh, what you taste in this wine is just the freshness uh, and the fruitness and uh, very sweet tannins. And uh, so like the daily wine that you can have uh, every day because it's really easy to drink but intense. Noi Quattro is the wine that we make in the Bulgari domain. The name comes from uh, Noi, it means us for, and it's the, what we use to as a doorbell, all, all of the members of our family. So it's a kind of an insider thing for our family. And Quattro because it's our fourth wine and it was a team of four people that chose uh, to make this. So we wanted to add this touch. Uh, 2011 Noi Quattro has been done with four varieties Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc so four typical Bordeaux varieties and this wine fermented in a stainless steel tank and then heated in barrels for 14 months 50% new oak, 50% second years old and a um, good combination of these four varieties so you can feel how this mix can be very nice together and uh, it represents very well the Bulgari area Indaco is the core wine uh, of our winery and uh, the name means indigo which is a, a special tone of blue that we find here often at sunset. This wine has been done with the Malbec mainly and uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot and uh, 2009 has been a very hot season but uh, at the end has been a little bit cooler so the ripeness has been really perfect and uh, this wine stay in uh, ferment in the stainless steel tank and then uh, uh, he stayed in for 15 months uh, in, uh, in barrels and uh, small barrels, uh, French barrique. Scipio is a, a special selection and the name comes from a very famous Roman general, Scipione l'Africano and uh, Scipio is essential to all history in my opinion because he's the one who stopped Hannibal from invading Europe and kept the Roman Empire together. 
Scipio is a, a Cabernet Franc impurity. It's something very rare, you don't find a Cabernet Franc impurity and I think that is a really an amazing variety because it can be so elegant and mainly when you produce at 400 meters above sea level. And this wine stayed in barrels for 24 months and 24 months in bottles. So when you taste it, it's really something complex and but elegant, you know, and fresh. It's a very important wine for us, and uh, it's a wine that's very thoughtful. A lot of work has gone into it, and uh, Shipi was a very determined man to make this wine. You need a lot of patience and a lot of effort in the vineyards, hence uh, the connection.